Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're having a conversation now, and it's a very painful one. There's been a alleged report of a teacher in a secondary school in Lagos, Nigeria, that has asked a young girl for oral sex in return, and actually asking her for sex in return for marks and for her to get to the next level in her school. Now, we have a young lady who has been pursuing the story. She's joined the journalist as well. Her name is Olua Tony Falaye. She's not only a sexual, sexual abuse advocate and survivor, she's also a lawyer and the founder of Jewel Hive Initiative. Hello, Toyin. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Hi, Olive. Good evening. It's I'm a pleasure to, to have you. you. Welcome. Thank, thank you, you so much. Toyin, if you'd be kind enough to run us through all that's been happening, we know that you were in Lagos as well to follow up the story of the young girl that was sexual abused, lead, sexually abused. Lead us from the point where you heard of the story and the development you've made thus far. Yes, thank you very much. The story actually broke out on Saturday on Instablog Niger. And immediately, I went on an intervention mission. And then we got to the school and trying to, of course, we had first gone to the victim's house. I tried to call them survivor anyway. I went to the survivor's house, and we had an interview with her and heard a part of the story. So it was only normal for us to also go to the school and try to find out what's going on from the principal of the school and as well get to see the teacher. But upon getting to the school, we met a brick wall. They did not want us to see the teacher. They did not want us to see the principal. They kept telling us that he's been in a series of meetings and we could not get to see him. The already at that time, the guy from Punch was already around and they debarred us from seeing them. We ended up leaving the school without seeing the teacher, without seeing the principal of the school. I immediately went to the police station at Sabo to make a, a formal complaint and they took our statement. And from there, I also made sure I got the girl to a safe space, which is one of our core values. All right. So, the so next from morning, the point where you, did you end up getting to see the teachers and the principal? We know that you mentioned just now that you met a brick wall. As they no, let you see we them. did not. We were not allowed to see the principal of the school. We were not allowed to see the teacher. And did the police intervention yield any fruit? The Sabo police station have honestly been helpful because after we lodged a formal complaint the next morning, we went there to put our official statement on paper, and immediately an officer was drafted alongside another officer with myself and the survivor, and we went back to the school on the second day. We demanded to see the principal. We met the vice principal, who also still told us that the principal was not around and we could not see him, but told us that they were already at the educational district, which was not too far from the school, and if we don't mind, we could go there. I pleaded with the police officer to allow us to go there, even though it was not where we were directed to. And we went to the district. Okay, um, Tony, we also know that um, there have been reports that this girl had been sexually abused even before now, that this isn't the first time that she's experienced something like this. Is this true? Did she tell you this yes, herself? Yes, please. Indeed, her story is very pathetic. This girl began to experience molestation at the age of nine by her father's uncle in the village. He was the one who defiled her. So when she turned 10 again and they relocated to Ibado, the another abuser continued. This time it was her stepfather's brother. And then two years ago, in their dinghy apartment there in Iwaya, she was raped by a robber who came into their home in the night and cutted away some items in the house. So we are here we are talking about a... Hello, Tony. We're losing, we're losing you slightly. Are you there? Tony, we're losing you. Certainly now that if he does not sleep with her, he's going to fail her. So on two occasions, he has made her to perform oral sex on him. Very, very gory. He made her to stay in the cupboard in a physics lab to perform oral sex on him. On the second time, he put her under the table of his, of his, of his office and made her to perform oral sex on him. Now, all these reports that you have, Tony, these were the things that the girl told you by herself. By herself. In fact, my interview with her was the second time. The third time was the punch newspaper. The fourth time was at the police station. And the fifth time was at the district yesterday. And I must tell you, this girl has said the same thing each of the five times. Okay. So, Tony, now what is the next step? Now that the girl has given her side of the story, are, is this matter going to be taken to court so that the, 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 um, the victim or the survivor as well as the perpetrator of this, of the alleged perpetrator of this offense would be able I'm to... I'm excited to inform you right now. I just got off the phone before you called me. 
with the Lagos State Police Command Gender Unit, GRA Ikeja. And I'm excited to inform you that the molester has been arrested. It nice. took us three old days to get this man arrested. And I'm glad to inform you that he's pulling off right now at the gender unit of the Lagos State Police Command. I'm also happy to inform you that I have taken the girl to a shelter where she goes for counseling every day. We will not rest until we get justice. But I can sleep tonight knowing that the molester is not walking around freely anymore. Okay, so what about the school principal and, you know, other teachers or the vice principal, for example? Because Everybody I feel that if, been... if, if, if somebody actually did something uh, this bad and then they took time before releasing the perpetrator, I would say it's in good sense to actually find out why they did that and, if possible, prosecute them too. It, it breaks my heart to let you know that we were the one who went to report to the station. It should have been the school principal of the Educational District 4. None of them did that. Instead, they've been shielding us from getting this principal. Should I tell you that this morning, the police wrote another invitation to the principal to present the teacher. And the principal called the police station and told them that he cannot bring the teacher until he's done with him. So it is unfortunate to know that in present-day Nigeria, the school authority, the educational system are the ones who's been shielding this teacher from, from being arrested. It is also unfortunate to know that I witnessed victim shaming live. They all tried to coerce this girl. They even told her today that the NGO is telling her to tell lies against the teacher. That came to me as a shock. But I will not rest. I will ensure that we get justice for Rose. All right. Um, so thank you very much for sharing this story. But I'd like to ask if there's anything you'll be doing any further, your organization, with regards to maybe involving the Ministry of Education, involving the government in some degree, yes, so that please. this case, not only is the uh, matter facilitated faster, but also that the school be looked into. So we get to know now in the event that he's found guilty, that we get to see that something is being done to the school and the teachers as well. There is a rumor, and I like to say, it is a rumor that this teacher has other victims. I, I believe that the gender unit will take out a thorough search. We have actual information that this teacher has other victims in the school. So our client is not the only victim. I also want to make a passionate appeal to the Lagos State Educational Board, particularly the Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Government, Ministry of Education, to please ensure that Rose gets into, enrolled into another school while this investigation is going on. She's too broken to go back to that school, and her education cannot stop because a teacher molested her in the school. So please, we need the government to please, within the next possible mm. available time, they are supposed to start exams in April. Already she cannot join them. We need the government to please enroll her in another school. Please, I'm begging. Thank All right, you. thank you so much for thank sharing this so story. Much. And um, we'll be following you up, following up with you with regards to updates on this story. Of course, now that the matter is in the hand of the court, we trust that the court will do the rightful thing yes. and that the truth will be brought to daylight. But thank you for what you do, not thank just for this so little much. girl, but for other little girls around our country. Thank you so much, Tony. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.